Now, the next lesson is going to be extremely exciting, mainly because we're going to be doing pointers. But before we get to that heady excitement of pointers, which I'm sure you've all been looking forward to, I thought what we might do is we might, we might play around with a little bit of um, string functionality. You might remember from a, <clears throat> a report we did a while ago, we had some numbers that were, that were very large and they were very hard to read. So I'll just show you the kind of thing I mean. So um, let's start a new section. We'll play around with some string functions. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to add some commas to long numbers. Now we're going to use an extremely primitive method. There's a much better method than this, but, but we need the standard template and locales before we get to that. And we're, we're a long way short of that. We haven't even done pointers yet, which is coming in the next lesson. But here's a really primitive way of um, adding commas to long numbers. Now here's the problem. We've got a number. Now I'll just make up a number. A uh, double number, uh, something like this. Just you know, add anything you like, really. Now, if we output that, it's not going to look very good on a report because it's going to be very hard to read to the human eye, and it's. You know, it's not in cents or anything. I mean, that's not cents or pens or anything. But let's just uh, let's have a quick look and see what that looks like. You know, oh, ah, that's not very good either. I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll need to set precision, won't we? So set precision. So that we can see that number. Let's give that a whiz. Build fill. Unidentified. <coughs> Set precision, what's wrong with that? Ah. Yeah, we need to um, we need to add IO manipulation to use the set precision. Doodah. Let's give that another whiz. Are we happy now? Yeah, we're happy. So you can see there that we've um, oh, it's added on a few extra things for us as well, which was uh, which is nice of it. Oh well, that's the limitations of computing. Okay, now th that's not human readable. We want it to stop there and be three one or be rounded anyway. So one thing we could do. If we're not using C out, if we actually want to create a string and then store that in an array, then what we could do is we could set up a string array like that. And what we could do is we could use a special string function called sprintf. And we could put into that new string um, with a format of percent point two f which is this is a format please put a number in to let's put the number in input dub so please put this number into this string with this format so it's a float this works for doubles as well this float let's just like a to f did earlier two decimal points and then just stick a number in here. Now we, we could put zeros in there. We we can do all sorts of things, but we'll keep this nice and simple. Now if we output this, let's have a look and see what that looks like. You can see that's a bit nicer now, isn't it? We, it is a string now, but the problem is, is this is this part is still unreadable to the human eye. What we need in there is we need I can't actually put them in, but I need a comma there, and I need a comma there. And as I said earlier, this is quite straightforward once we get to the templates and locales and things, but we just don't have that. But let, let's play around with. Um, basic primitive C++, just to see if we can get something. Now the first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need an end string, which is... 
going to, uh, better make it quite big, which is going to contain a, st a string of numbers with a co with commas in there. So, so let's let's put that there. Um, I need the length of the first string. So let's have a. Let's use a special built-in command called strlength, which will tell you the length of a string. What I'm after is the length of this string here which is the start string. Uh, let's just output um, what that value is. So just to check that we're, uh, we're using the right sort of number. Okay, so it's 11 long. Now, what we can next do is you're just going to have to follow me quite quickly on this because I'm going to use a bit of a bit of magic kind of um, an algorithm of my own, which I've kind of put together for you. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say um, now it's 11 is the length, but how how far from the left is it up to the dot? One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. It's eight characters up to the dot. Now I've got 11 and I, I want to get eight. So I'm going to say how many characters up to the dot? Nice and easy here. I'm just going to go um, along the distance to the dot is equal to the string length minus three. I know that's hard coded, but I know that that's three characters. So we just need to do a bit of hard coding here, I'm afraid. Okay, um, I'm also going to have, in this final string, I'm going to set up a little index mover, which is going to move along. And every time it adds a comma, it's going to add another one to the index. Hopefully this will make a bit of sense if you follow it through. So we'll have an int final count. This is going to be an index into this final string and it's going to move along like a typewriter, but it's going to add an extra one to the index every time we add a comma. Now this is just a bit of jiggery-pokery coming up, but I'm going to do a, another for loop. I'm going to have int start count. I'd normally use i, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense here. Equal to zero. And this is going to be an index to this string, which is this thing here. So it's going to be an index to that character array. Position zero, position one, etc. So, um, so we've got a final count index to the long string with the commas in, and a start count index to the first string without the commas in. And we're going to go through the start string, which is this cheeky chap here. And we're going to look for the special checkered flag marker, which is the null element and then if we and then we're going to add one on just like all the other four loops we've been doing okay now <clears throat> the distance to the dot is going to reduce each time we're going to start at zero there's going to be eight to the end then it's going to be seven to the end then it's going to be six to the end then it's going to be seven to the end then six five four three two one all the way along so just a bit of distance to the dot is going to reduce each time. So we're going to go from the, um, sorry, we're going to go, what's the algorithm here going to be? Actually, this needs to be constant. This needs to be a constant, which I just, no, no, what we'll do, moving, we'll, we'll have another, we'll have another long called moving distance or decreasing distance. So the decreasing distance is equal to the full distance, which is this chap here. Um, take away 
this index as it moves along, goes from 0 and it goes up. So the distance is going to decrease from 11, it's going to go then to 10, then to 9, then to 8, and then to 7. And now what we can do is we can do the following. If the start count variable is not 0, so we don't want to put a comma as the first character in our string, and the decreasing distance is greater than zero, so what we don't want to do is put commas in here. And if the decreasing distance to the dot um, with a modulus value of three is equal to zero, i.e. if it divides perfectly into three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, etc., then what we shall do is we shall, on the final string, starting from here, and then adding one on, and we've done this trick before, where we just constantly add one on, after we finish the operation, it starts at zero, then goes to one, then two, then three, we will add a comma character. Super. And then we will copy the actual character of the 8, the 7, the 6, the 8, the 3. So if we're basically every third character in, we're going to put a comma. So there we go. And we'll just make this the same as, uh, as this where we're actually up to. So we're going to, we're going to chunk through this string. And then as the distance decreases, oh, does that divide by three? No. Does that divide by three? Yes, the six characters form. Perfect. We'll put a comma in there. Might be better if I show you the, the end result of all of this. So, we just quickly put this at the end. Then what we're going to have then, at the end, see out um, the final string. Let's see what this looks like. Could look like anything, couldn't it? Let's see what we get. Oh, of course, um, you're probably ahead of me here. What I've missed is I've missed putting the special checkered flag. This is a Formula One race that's going to last forever. So I just need, I don't need the plus plus there. It's already gone up one, isn't it? It's not going to go up again. I just need to add on the special end of string marker. And if we just give that a whiz, you should be able to see now that, what's this 87 million? 433, 833, 87 million. We've now got commas in our program, and this, this original number, this unreadable to the human eye, slightly better because it's down to pence, cents, whatever. But still, these get, this gets to be very tricky, this kind of a number. So we've, we've gone through this character array, one character at a time. And then every third character, we've, we've inserted a comma up to the dot, but not beyond. And here's the logic here. We'd put this into a function. Like I said, it's very, very primitive. I would... Um, wait until we get to standard template but if you need something quick this should work i mean it might not be perfect you might want to I'll, I'll leave that as an exercise to you to make this perfect later but i think that's pretty good and it's the kind of thing you can do with um, string functions and playing around with arrays and for loops and so on okay now i'm not going to add that to the other report i'll let you uh, i'll let you do that for fun Okay, see you next time.